Hello friends, Paul Matrix here, and today we are going to be talking about some new reveals that Hasbro just dropped. Hasbro? Hasbro just dropped over at Kotaku.com, and they are some brand new Cyberverse figures. Now you might be wondering, why am I talking about Cyberverse? Wasn't Cyberverse a whole pile of dookie that was released in 2018? I, yes, yes it was, but they're, they're, they're going a little bit in a different direction here with the new figures in 2019, and the entire line is going to be themed around something called Spark Armor. And this is having each core figure across multiple different size classes having a little extra vehicle component that becomes armor. So imagine, remember back in R.I.D. when they did those kind of Energon battle armor things. It's kind of like that, but good. So let's go ahead and get into it. First up, we're going to start off with the Spark Armor Battle Class series of figures. And this is first up, we're getting is Jetfire, who comes with a with a tank. Now, Jetfire's alt mode looks really good, classic Jetfire. His robot mode is something different. We haven't gotten a Jetfire quite like this before. It does retain the similar wing structure that we've seen previously, but the head sculpt is a little bit new, the chest is new, and the overall body structure is kind of new. I, I kind of dig it. And then he comes with a tank, a double minigun giant barreled tank that merges with him to form battle armor that actually looks pretty good. I think the coloring works well. The tan and the white work work really well excuse me there i just burped and that kind of works with a red the the red and the black of the treads works well next up is prowl and it, it, it's prowl i mean what else can i say it's prowl it's obvious how he's going to transform so yeah but his head sculpt is different this time and he comes with this blue jet and this blue jet kind of reminds me of um, Metal Hawk from the Transformers Master Force series. And it gives him a, this big yellow star in the middle of his chest in the combined mode. And I think it works well. I think both of these figures together look pretty good. Next up in this same size class is Starscream. And oh my heavens, it looks like this figure has knees. His robot mode looks absolutely fantastic. Jet mode doesn't look so great, in my opinion, but he comes with an earth mover or a bulldozer that then just attaches to him and he looks patentedly ridiculous. And I love it. it he looks so stupid with a bulldozer pieces just smashed onto him. <laughs> but but I, I like it. I like it. It's so stupid. Finally, in this size class and the figure that I am super excited for is Skybite. We are getting a brand new Skybite in 2019 in the Cyberverse line. His shark mode looks cool. His robot mode looks cool. Looks cool. He comes with a drill tank, and then that combined mode looks ridiculous. Just absolutely ridiculous. I'm okay with that, though. Now we're moving on to the larger figures, and those are the Spark Armor Elite class figures. And the first one is Bumblebee, and it's a dead ringer robot mode for Cyberverse Bumblebee, but he doesn't have the wings in the back, which is odd. However, his alt mode looks perfect. I, I can't, I cannot complain about the way the alt mode looks at all. I think it looks great. The robot mode even though it doesn't have the wings, looks good, and it looks like this might transform in a, in a better way than any of the other figures that we've gotten. And then his armor is a battleship. I, I, I think somebody's been playing a little bit too much Cancone, or Cancole. Yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, it looks really rad. The combined mode looks just absolutely mm -hmm. rad, but it it's like somebody was playing a weird Japanese game. Anywho, moving on to Megatron. I swear this is the same mold as the deluxe class Megatron. I think it might be that same figure just scaled up and given a new chest. The The robot mode looks very somewhat similar, but the alt mode just screams the same transformation. Though he's given Spinister, effectively. He's 
given an attack helicopter, and then that thing just kind of plops on top of him. It's really strange. It reminds me more of Exosquad, or his combined mode reminds me of Exosquad or the Centurions. It, I'm not saying it's bad, it's just odd. And finally, we have Optimus Prime in the same class. Alt mode looks silly. Robot mode actually looks pretty good. I, I really do dig the robot mode. And then he comes with an attack jet that just drops on top of him. And I swear this was Ace McCloud from Centurions. I really do think that's mm, what this is. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> a little bit of a cough there. I really think that's what Prime is going for here. It works. I think it works really well, but it's just strange. Okay, now finally, the last figure shown here is Optimus Prime with Arc Armor. It is a larger class Optimus Prime that literally is carrying the Arc on his back in robot mode, and then he combines with it and looks very strikingly similar to Sentinel Prime from the IDW comic series. I, I think this is cool, but it's super silly. And I love it. I absolutely love this. This whole leak, or not leak, but this whole reveal is ahead of Toy Fair, which is in, like, I think it's coming this weekend as I record this. This is February 11th, Monday, February 11th. I'm actually really stoked for the Cyberverse line. It looks like they took all of the awesome stuff from the Cyber Battalion series, gave it better paint and a little bit more posability, and just added a fun feature on top of it, which is all I've ever wanted Cyberverse to be. The figures that have been released this year, the only really good figures have been Shockwave. All of the others have been ultimately forgettable. Folks, let me know what you think of all of these figures or new figure reveals down in the comments. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Belt Matrix, and I'll catch you next time.